Did you know that housing in Argentina is up to 15 times cheaper than in the United States? Or that you can travel almost anywhere in Peru for under 40 cents? Today, we will explore the top 10 cheapest countries where you can live like royalty on just $1,000 a month. To determine which countries offer lavish living at relatively low costs, we examined the cost of living in these countries, which includes necessities like food, housing, transportation, the country's economy, the natural environment, and a number of other factors. Here is what we found. Indonesia. It is common knowledge that the Republic of Indonesia is the fourth most populated country in the world, but you probably didn't know that it has one of the lowest costs of living. With an average living cost of below $500 per month, living in Indonesia, especially in its thriving capital Jakarta, has an overall lower cost of living compared to the bigger Western countries. For example, it is 60% less expensive to live here than in New York or London, 40% less expensive than in Berlin, 50% less expensive than in Melbourne, and even 50% less expensive than in its neighboring country Singapore. One of the best parts of living in Indonesia is its exotic cuisine. The country boasts different restaurants and street vendors, all offering a diverse selection of dishes. In addition, you can get a simple meal for less than $2. And if you'd rather have a home-cooked meal, you can shop for groceries to last you the whole month for less than $50. An equally good part of living in the country is its beautiful, accessible beaches, especially in Bali and Lombok which makes your stay there similar to that of a five-star resort in the Hawaiian Islands, but less crowded and less expensive. Getting to these beaches for a relaxing day costs next to nothing as the country also has a good and cheap transportation infrastructure that allows you to easily get anywhere, with taxi rides that cost fewer than 50 cents per kilometer, bus tickets at 36 cents, and a monthly pass for bus rides at only about $14. You can settle down in a major city in a one-bedroom apartment for less than $300 and a three-bedroom apartment for around $700 total. So all in all, you can live the life of the rich and powerful with $1,000 in Indonesia. Bolivia The country of Bolivia is one that a lot of people are quickly discovering, many for the indigenous culture, some for its geographical marvels and some for the opportunity to live large on a relatively low budget. Bolivia is a landlocked country located in western central South America, and living here is undoubtedly less expensive than in more developed nations. For just a little above $500, you can live out your month enjoying yourself without compromising your health and comfort. A typical meal in the country would cost you as little as $2 while a more than decent family-sized platter with various options and salad bar access would cost you only $12. In addition, you can have a nice bottle of locally produced wine to go with your meals for about $3. So overall, you will enjoy a fine dining experience that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Moving around the country can be just as cheap, with taxi rides starting at 75 cents, and one-way tickets across the city costing only 27 cents. While settling down, renting a one-bedroom apartment on the better side of town, which of course includes all amenities and even cable TV, would set you back less than $300 for a month. You could also spring for a luxurious three-bedroom condo in an upscale neighborhood for about $600 to $800 a month. All in all, with about $1,000, you can live it big in the country of Bolivia. Nepal the country of Nepal in Southern Asia is also one of the cheapest countries in the world in terms of monthly expenses. This is because everyday life in the country is rather on the simple side, which makes the living standard a lot cheaper compared to neighboring countries. On average, you can live quite a comfortable life in Nepal with a little above $500. A meal each day would only take about $2 from your pocket, and a fancy expensive restaurant would only cost around $5. Eating home-cooked meals would cost even less, as grocery shopping for the month would cost less than $50. The transport system in the country will have you reaching any of your destinations with taxi rides that cost about 34 cents for every 5 to 10 kilometers you travel. Bus rides cost even less at around 22 cents for a one-way trip, and you can decide to rent a car for an entire day for just about $1. When you do decide to settle down in the country, 
an apartment on the better side of the local cities would cost only around $140 a month. That goes to show that life in Nepal can give you a chance to experience a grander lifestyle, because even after you add the cost of health care, which costs about $40 to consult a private doctor, and then the price of monthly utilities and even luxuries like employing housekeepers and more, you would be living a life of comfort with less than $1,000 a month. Argentina stretching from southern Asia to the southern half of South America, we have the country of Argentina. Although it is the second largest country in South America, the cost of living here is pretty tame, at about 50 to 60 percent less than in the United States. While the country offers a stunning variety of natural beauty, a peaceful way of life for the family, and the charm of a European city, the cherry on top is that you can live a lavish lifestyle here for about $1,000 a month. Many of the country's restaurants offer a bargain set lunch or dinner menu, which includes a starter, main course, and beverages for only $8. And if you fancy home-cooked meals instead, Argentine markets will have you filling shopping bags for less than $20. Getting around the country is also a breeze, as taxi rides cost less than a dollar for a mile. Even their local buses run cheaper and can get you across the cities for 25 to 50 cents. While a three-bedroom apartment in the center of California might cost you about $6,000 a month, you can get the same type of deal for less than $400 in Argentine cities. That's about 15 times cheaper with the same lavish standards. Mexico You might be surprised to see Mexico on this list, but the current economic state of Mexico makes it one of the least expensive countries to live in, and it is often the first settlement choice for American retirees when looking for a cheaper place to live. The average cost of living in Mexico can come in at under $745 each month, and although it might be a less expensive country to live in, it is still a big and beautiful one to find yourself in. Housing may be your biggest expense in the country, and even then, you can still find a good quality apartment for around $375 a month. You can gorge on any type of food you'd like, especially authentic Mexican cuisine, for under $300 a month. For transportation, this will cost you only about $20 for the whole month. With all these expenses, you'd have more than enough left to enjoy the lavish lifestyle in Mexico. Malaysia Malaysia in Southeast Asia is another country with a low cost of living and a high quality of life. Hence, it is now common for people to relocate there, and even the country's government encourages foreigners to retire on their lands. The average cost of living for a person in Malaysia, excluding rent, is a little less than $500 and renting a one-bedroom apartment here would cost between $300 to $500. The transportation costs for an entire month would amount to less than $50, and you would spend less than $30 per month for good health care. Seeing all the numbers, it's no wonder why Malaysia is rated one of the best countries in the world for students based on the cost of living. Costa Rica you might know that Central American Costa Rica is covered in lush rainforests and beautiful tropical beaches and is a cool and laid-back place to visit. But did you know that the country is so budget-friendly that the average cost of living is $1,000 a month? For starters, Costa Rica's real estate could put a smile on your face as it is 64% lower than that of the United States. This is why you could rent a furnished two-bedroom apartment here for as little as $400 a month. And after getting a place to live in, you will probably spend no more than $50 a month for all your utilities. The amazing selection of fine dining is another thing to smile about, because getting groceries is up to 50% less expensive than in the U.S. You would be spending about $200 on food a month, which would be enough for you to eat like royalty. The best thing about living in Costa Rica is that you can spend close to nothing on transportation while living there, because if you don't have a car, you would only need to spend about $40 a month to get wherever you need to go. That sounds like a good way to live. Cambodia. Last but clearly not least, the Kingdom of Cambodia ends our list of affordable countries to live in. The average cost of living in this Asian country can be about $800 a month, and especially in its capital city of Phnom Penh, you can live a life of luxury on a tight budget. Rent here is cheaper, and you can find a comfortable apartment for about $300 a month. Among your daily expenses, food may be your highest cost, where you might be spending as much as $11 for a decent meal. However, 
the cost of transportation is on the low side, which makes up for the high cost of food. Furthermore, Cambodia goes pretty easy on foreigners as most of its economy comes from tourism. So overall, this is a great place to live for under $1,000 per month.